Uh, in, in the other big story of the day, would you be willing to take a pay cut to save the job of your coworker? Yeah, it's the $300 million question that thousands of families are contemplating this evening. And that's because Detroit Mayor Cockrell is proposing a plan to balance the city's budget through ser service cuts and I guess what you'd have to call personal sacrifice. Yeah, let's hit the highlights right now. City employees are asked to take a 10% pay cut. Cockrell says that he will cut his own salary by 20%. That would keep the layoffs to less than 60. Cockrell also suggests reducing maintenance of parks and vacant lots and consolidating contracts. This plan would generate money by selling rights to profits from the Windsor tunnel and lighting and parking services in exchange for a lump sum of $250 million. Cockrell also wants to increase the amount of fines and collect more on those who are hit with them. So it's an ambitious plan that Cockrell presented to City Council this morning, more importantly to city workers this afternoon. Let's get to Roger Weber, who's live with more on the plan and the reaction to it. Didn't take long for some pushback, Roger. Well, Devin, the mayor was going up and down Jefferson today, uh, sharing this plan with the City Council and then with uh, uh, union leaders at Cobo. He's warning uh, people in Detroit that if the ducks don't fall in line, if the city cannot fix this deficit, it could be looking at a state financial takeover, the same thing that happened to Detroit Public Schools. The mayor told council members the city is in a precarious financial position. He says if city workers take a 10% pay cut, layoffs would be held to 57. If they don't agree, 1,000 workers would be let go. We face one of the most critical crossroads in our city's history. We don't have time to look back, nor should we. Council members were cautious and cordial, but the mayor faced tougher questions down the street at Cobo. That's where he pitched the pay cut to a room full of union leaders. We just got out of a 10% pay cut last year. We went through year after year of pay freezes, and uh, our members, like everyone else, need to live. Take care of your business first before you come to us. Show us that you're serious about getting rid of the waste this was the opening round. Tough negotiations are still to come. Some are concerned that there's not an end date to that 10% pay cut. Yeah, and that's a concern, and we understand that concern. But, you know, frankly, I hesitate to put an end date on it. I don't profess to have all of this figured out. I don't profess to be a genius. Yes. I don't think anybody up here is a genius. So, frankly, we're open to suggestions. Mm -hmm. We're open to input. Some unusual candor at City Council for a mayor to say that he doesn't have it all figured out just yet. Uh, but clearly the mayor is looking for anything he can to find a way to close that $300 million budget hole. Back to you. Uh, Roger, as people like to point out, with budget, which, when the budget problems arise, uh, you can get to a lot of it through cuts. But the other side of it is raising revenue. Right, as you mentioned earlier, uh, he's hoping to get $250 million uh, by uh, not selling the Windsor Tunnel uh, or the uh, public lighting department or municipal parking, but, but in, a, in essence uh, guaranteeing that income stream, getting all the money up front. He says it's sort of like winning the lottery uh, and getting it all at once uh, as opposed to sprinkling that out over the future. The problem is these are complicated deals yeah. and it will take a while to work out. The other problem is you've only got, it's a one-time deal. It doesn't help you with uh, revenue down the line once it's you've not, got front loaded. Right. Yeah. It's not there anymore down the road. Yeah. All right, Roger. Mayor Cockrell is essentially asking the city workers to take one for the team, but are they feeling selfless? Tonight, local force Ama Dates is assessing the workers' mood, and she has that story. City bus driver Danny Curvin hadn't heard about Mayor Ken Cockrell Jr.'s budget-cutting plan, so I was the one to break the news that the plan included a 10% cut in wages for city workers. So is he willing to take the cut to help other city employees keep their jobs? I wouldn't want to lose their job, so I would consider it pretty much keep any city employee losing their job. Kervin is single, so he says he can manage, but others know they'll have to start cutting back. You have to get rid of these kind of extravagances, bring your lunch to work. You have to do those types of things, yeah. Find ways to buckle yep, down. That's it, buy everything on sale. Hoping a little less here and a little less there will be enough to get by. In the end, though... It beats not having a job, but I prefer not to take it if I didn't have to.